Hi, welcome to another eye health episode on my channel. In today's video, we will talk about one of the newest lens designs on the market, and that is the anti-fatigue lenses. What is it? How does it work? To find out, stick around. The introduction of the anti-fatigue lens design is to answer to the ever-increasing near workload. In the past, for people under 40, their eyes focusing system is strong enough to handle day-to-day -day tasks, including their near work. But in recent years, the number of hours we spend doing near work has skyrocketed. And for that reason, a lot of people's eyes are worked past their limit and their comfort levels. To understand how to relieve eye strain for near, we have to first understand what our eyes need to do in order to focus at near. There are mainly two things. Number one, our eyes need to converge or turn inward in order to point towards the near object we want to look at. And secondly, the accommodating or focusing muscles in our eyes need to exert energy in order to change the shape of the natural lens inside our eye in order to bring the near object into focus. To help you understand the situation we're dealing with better, my analogy is that of a person wearing a backpack and walking to school that is 10 minutes away. For someone who's young and healthy, that's no big deal. But what if we're wearing the backpack and now we're walking 30 minutes, an hour or two to school? Suddenly the backpack may not seem so light and the walk to school can be quite a workout. If we can somehow lessen the load on the backpack or shorten the walk to school, then the journey will be much easier. Similarly, if we can reduce the need of the interning of our eyes or lessen the focusing work our eyes need to do, then we can view near more comfortably. The general design of the anti-fatigue lens is to keep the top part of the lens with the distance vision correction needed for us to view things far away, just like our single vision lens do. But what it does is it also implements a small reading ad power on the bottom of the lens to lessen the workload we need to do at near. For many, this change alone can already put us back into our comfort level and eliminate symptoms of near eye strain. Then there are anti-fatigue lens designs that go one step further as to putting prisms in the bottom of the lens to reduce the need of the interning of the eyes in order to focus at near. Whether someone would benefit from that design depends on their eyes natural tendencies to turn inward or outward, which we call phorias, and that is something the optometrist can find out at your routine eye exam. So how do you know if the anti-fatigue lens design is beneficial to you? Start off by asking yourself if you do have symptoms of eye strain and headaches with prolonged computer or near work. If the answer is no, then maybe your eyes focusing system is still strong enough to handle your day-to-day -day near tasks and it doesn't need any lens design to help with that. Sometimes if a focusing system is working well on its own, it doesn't like the introduction of any change or help and the anti-fatigue lens design runs the risk of introducing symptoms of inadaptation. However, if you do suffer from symptoms of eye strain at near, then this lens design may be helpful to you. I hope that helped you understand what anti-fatigue lenses are, how they're designed to help relieve eye strain at near, and how to decide if they may be beneficial to you. If you took something away from today's video, please support by hitting the like button. Consider subscribing for more eye health videos and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>